compulsion too it has been stated that flammable material exists on the inside of every human being for example the righteous use of sex could be prevented into grossness a desire for perfection could turn one into a tyrant and the desire for property as the extension of oneself into a miser the stages by which one advances into compulsion are first the consent of the will to any temptation lest the act which is the result of the temptation and finally the act it takes many acts to make a habit as it takes many strands of flax to make a rope habits are good as well as bad how weary our brain would be if we had to relearn playing the piano each time we sat down to it or if we have to go through the laborious process of learning to write when we compose a letter in the case of evil habits such as alcoholism the energy which once went into the will to prevent as excess now goes into the habit itself to enforce it conscience which at first registered a protest against an evil action such as hurting a neighbor becomes dulled from abuse it is very much like to spring on a screen door during the summer time it loses its resiliency and ability to close to keep out flies good acts make virtue easier and evil acts make vice easier the hedge broken down is easier to get through the drops of water flowing through a dike can eventually end in a flood how habits eventually lead to compulsion may be illustrated by the parable of the trees of the forest who had a solemn parliament in which they decided to enact some laws against the wrongs which the acts had done them they finally agreed that no tree would lend wood as a handle for an axe under the pain of being unloaded by the other trees the axe without a handle traveled up and down the forest and begged for wood from cedar ash oak and elm but no one would lend him a chip at last he went to the brace near the trucks of the trees and said to the trees that these shrubs were sucking away the chemicals of the soil and were also observing the glory of the fair trees the trees agreed to give him the handle to cut down the shrubs but when the axe got the handle he cut the trees down also when a strong man has a place that is well defended he can keep his goods in peace but when one stronger than he attacks the palace then he loses his goods and also his liberty in like manner there eventually comes to some habitual practices of vice what is known as compulsion within the course of one evening two young mothers in an east city were assaulted by a man who broke down the friend door saying i am a compulsive sex maniac there are 5 million alcoholics in the united states most of whom would say i can't help it i am a compulsive drinker the sight of alcohol triggers me and i have no power to resist it is at this point that psychiatrists and social workers and other say with some degree of justice that such people are sick indeed they are sick but they are not sick in the same way as a person with the cancer would never wilt that the cancer should invade his body or that it should be multiplied within him as a kind of a habit but all who suffer from a so called compulsion hard entered into the state as a result of successive repeated acts until a point was reached where as a great russian writer has said unlimited freedom leads to unlimited tyranny 
what must be stressed in that no man will is ever completely ruined by a force on the outside it can like a muscle be cut successively by a knife until the limb drops unless when what is strange about the compulsion is that although the pleasure attached to the indulgence illusions with each successive indulgence the power of compulsion increases the energy that once went into the enjoyment now goes into forgiving new links in a chain which can be broken only with the great test difficulty